In today's video, I've prepared the ultimate battery comparison of the hottest phones right now. Not only am I doing the classic battery drain, but I've also added a charging test, all done in the fastest possible way, so you get the best info in the shortest time. The phones I'm testing today are all new, but the price difference between some of them is pretty big. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is worth your money based on real performance results. If you're an iOS or Android user, you might be surprised, so let's get started. As you probably know, most gadgets today don't come with a charger in the box, so I made sure to buy the original charging adapter for each phone to keep this test fair and accurate. After a bit of research, I found what each manufacturer actually recommends, and that's exactly what I used. The devices are completely discharged. I connected them to the switch, and now I'll turn it on so they receive current at the same time. I've speed up the process, and we'll see what results we get. After the first 20 minutes, we're seeing a noticeable difference between the contenders. And, as expected, the temperature is higher on phones that charge quickly. It's clear that two of them have already passed the 50% threshold, while the others are still catching up. This is going to be a thrilling race from here on out. Stay tuned as we watch who takes the lead next. The record is set by Huawei who has managed to charge their device with the manufacturer's recommended charger in just 37 minutes. That's a game changer for fast charging technology. The second is the Nothing Phone which manages to fully charge in exactly one hour. And this is an excellent result too. After 11 minutes, the Samsung Galaxy S24 follows. It fully charges in 1 hour and 11 minutes, almost double the time compared to the Huawei. The penultimate one to fully charge is the Google Pixel 8, not quite the fastest, but still holding its own. And that leaves the Apple device in last place, which, let's face it, hasn't evolved much in terms of charging lately. So, after an hour and 42 minutes, the iPhone finally manages to charge completely. Now don't get me wrong, it's a powerful device but in my opinion, this is an aspect that really should be improved because we're talking about a phone that costs significantly more than most other devices. At that price point, faster charging isn't just a nice to have, it's an expectation. Okay, now that we're fully charged, let's quickly move on to the long-awaited battery drain test. Before I get started, I make sure everything is set up just right. The brightness is measured with a measuring device so that all devices are the same, and for the most part, the settings are the same so that the test is as accurate as possible. What I want to highlight is whether these phones will actually last two full days in real life. Now on average, we all use our phones for around 5 hours a day, screen on time. So the plan is simple, I'm going to test each phone with 5 hours of use per day, every day with a standby break overnight, just like a regular user. Here's how it will go. For the first hour, the phone will simply stay on the home screen. Next, I'll spend an entire hour watching videos on YouTube, in the third hour, I'll switch to TikTok. After that, I'll turn on the video camera and record in full HD and finally, I'll wrap up the day with an hour of gaming. The first day of battery testing is complete, and the results look promising. All devices still have more than 50% of their battery life remaining, which is a great sign. I'm going to leave all the units on standby overnight. I'll be back tomorrow to run the same test again and see how well the batteries hold up after a full night in standby. I came back the next day to check on the battery levels, and here's what I found. Both the iPhone and the Google Pixel had lost nearly 10% of their battery overnight. On the other hand, the Nothing phone really stood out. It only lost about 3% making it the most efficient when it comes to standby battery life. Next up, I'm going to run the same battery test again. We'll watch together to see how long each one lasts, and in what order they power down. Let's find out which phone holds up the best under pressure. Surprisingly, and a bit disappointingly, the first phone to power down in our battery life test is the iPhone 15. Despite being the most expensive phone in this lineup, it only managed to last 9 hours and 22 minutes of continuous use. About 20 minutes away, the second one to shut down is the Google Pixel 8, which did well. If we were to divide it by days, I could say that it has an autonomy of almost 2 days. The Samsung Galaxy S24 delivered a solid performance in our battery test. 
That's 41 minutes beyond the 10-hour mark, quite respectable for a premium device. Given its high price point, this result is certainly decent and should satisfy most users. The penultimate one that closes is the Huawei Nova 13. It clocks in at 11 hours and 15 minutes of screen time, and with its affordable price, it's a great pick for anyone who needs long battery life on a budget. And now for today's surprise. At just a third of the price of an iPhone, meet the Nothing Phone 3A, a budget-friendly device that doesn't skimp on performance. In fact, it delivers performance comparable to Apple's flagship phones, and get this, it lasts 11 hours and 29 minutes on continuous use. For more content like this, don't forget to support me by liking and subscribing.